again everybody. Thought I hadn't seen you for a little while so I'm going to read you a little story in front of my beautiful wisteria. Now you might know that my big girl is called Hattie and I bought this for her when she was little because it's called Hattie the Bad. Hattie was bad. When I say bad, I don't mean forget to tidy your bedroom, reading comics after bedtime kind of bad. When I say bad, I mean really, really bad. Uh oh, frog in the fridge, car keys tied to a balloon. That is why she was called Hattie the Bad. Hattie's mum said that Hattie had always been a good baby until one day she dropped her on her head. I didn't do that to my Hattie. But even Hattie's baby brother Osric could have told you that was a load of baloney. Oh, she's got him for sale for 20 pence. The truth of the matter was when Hattie was a tiny little girl she had been actually quite good. But after a while she couldn't help noticing that being good meant you had to do rubbish things like eating mushy food and going to bed even when you weren't tired. And where was the fun in that? Exactly. So Hattie became bad. At first she could only do small bad things like eating dog biscuits. Well I do that. Even though they didn't taste nice. But as she got older she got better and better at it. Oh look, she's setting off a load of frogs and frightening everybody. My Hattie would not be frightened of that because she loves frogs. You might be thinking that Hattie, as Hattie was so bad, she wouldn't have any friends. But you would be wrong, as Hattie was always doing exactly and exciting bad things. The other children thought she was great. Their parents disagreed. They told their children not to play with Hattie. Being bad with no one else to enjoy it made Hattie feel sad. So she had an idea. She would become Hattie the good. She would be just as good at being good as she had been at being bad. So she wore whatever her mother wanted her to wear. She kept her bedroom tidy. She even went to bed without asking. My Hattie doesn't do that. Soon the other parents forgot about Hattie the bad. Sit next to Hattie, they said. She's, she always gets the best marks. I don't know why you're complaining. Hattie looks lovely in hers. <coughs> Soon the children got so fed up, they didn't want to play with Hattie anymore. Word spread and one day some reporters came and filmed Hattie at school. Then a letter came inviting to a, comp to a competition to find the best child ever. The day came. The famous TV lady had a large golden envelope. She opened it up and the winner is Hattie! Hattie got a very funny feeling. As she walked up the steps, the feeling got bigger and bigger. Is there anything you'd like to say? Asked the famous TV lady. Hmm. Let's let that police car go by. Hattie nodded, took a deep breath, opened her mouth and shouted, Nickers! as loud as she possibly could. And she's got pirate knickers on. All over the country, grown-ups gasped and tried to cover their children's eyes. All over the country, children, even the good ones, cheered. Hattie the Bad was back and no one refused to play with her ever again. I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.